Today we're going to take a look at the John Lewis Christmas advert. Hello and welcome to The Fostering Diaries. My name is Sarah and I am a foster carer. I've been a foster carer for quite a number of years now. And this advert, I haven't watched it yet, but in every group that I'm in with other foster carers, it seems to be the talk. Um, everyone is chatting about it and having their opinions on what they think about this advert. The John Lewis Christmas advert is always a big deal every Christmas and this year, apparently, like I say, I haven't watched it yet, but apparently they have focused on fostering. And this is because they're launching their Building Happier Futures program, which is working with children or young people in, or who have been in care, have got a care, foster care history, to help them potentially get a career, um, various different ways that they are helping young people. But let's just go ahead and get into it and we'll, we'll give it a watch. Okay, so we're starting off. I've heard this. I've heard something about a skateboard. Yeah, so this guy is trying to learn how to skateboard. Maybe, is he? Yeah, I can't wait. I would kind of wish that I was watching this and didn't know that it was about fostering to see kind of like how obvious it is or like do you only sort of learn out at the end i i don't know but obviously we do know it's, it's connected to fostering so i can't i can't watch it with the with that in mind I guess, I mean, the whole premise is they're getting ready for Christmas and he's practically skateboarded. Like, it just seems, it's a strange one to me. He's putting a lot of effort into this learning. Oh, nice. Did you see that? That was good. The doorbell goes. Is this like a, a child? Hi. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. We're making a long-term oh, commitment to support the futures of young people from care. John Lewis, working in partnership with Action for Children and Who Cares Scotland. So I think that if you weren't a foster care or weren't involved in care, that would, is it lost on you a little bit maybe? What's going on? Because you know, the premise is they've got a child coming to them and you know, he's try, he's working hard to, before they arrive, to make a connection with them. And so it makes her, when she's there, stood at the door, this child, she sees the skateboard in the background. There's that, you know, there's a connection there. So she feels a bit more welcome into the home, I guess. It's wonderful that they're raising awareness about foster care. And as foster carers, the, the things that we do before children come on daily basis when we have children with us to, you know, try to connect with them. and. That whole raising awareness is wonderful, obviously. Whenever anyone raises awareness for things, it's a, it's a positive, it is a positive thing. On the flip side to that, I wonder whether actually it could be quite triggering to ch young people who are in care or who maybe have just left care. They just wanna be, you know, they're watching TV <laughs> at home and this advert comes on. I imagine that's quite that's quite a triggering thing for them to see, and so actually, I, I'm not sure how appropriate that is around Christmas time, where there's already so much going on for children who are in care around Christmas time, and so to add, to put added things onto that doesn't sit well with me, if I'm honest. It's interesting just to look at the comments. I will link the, the original John Lewis video down below if you want to just watch it. But it, it's interesting to see the comments and how people are reacting in the comments, to be honest. 
the comments are actually really generally very very positive lots of people who have been in the care system or who are foster carers or work in social work are commenting saying how how wonderful they think that the advert is to be honest and how moved they were from it i think something that they highlight really well is that young girls look on her face this is it's getting me a little bit emotional actually but the look on her face is, as they open the door to her and we as foster carers we've been in those situations where the young people are at our front door they're coming in and that feeling that they have you know we can never understand that feeling that they must have and they kind of sum that up really well with how she how she looks and then the how when she sees that skateboard actually that small little half smile that crosses her face when she sees the skateboard and his broken wrist or you know whatever he's done it's little things like that that help massively with children that there's there is that little bit of connection then that actually he's trying to connect with her and he's spent hours and hours <laughs> trying to learn a skateboard I, why they've chosen skateboarding I, i've no, no idea but we do do that if we find things out about them that you know they like or enjoy we we try to bring that into the home just to try to make them feel in any way that little bit more at home more more comfortable i think that the odd thing about it to me is sort of the message i guess if we if we take away the to be honest christmas adverts are always kind of like this by companies which is such a at the end of the day all they're trying to do is and maybe Maybe you think I'm a little bit cynical here, but this is the truth is that they're all they're trying to do is to get you to buy things. That's the purpose of a business. They want to they make they want to make money. Yes, they make tear jerker adverts at Christmas, but and sort of the message behind their advert this advert is about you know kindness and that, that stuff doesn't matter at Christmas. It's all about being with friends and family and people that you love, and they sort of they. They say that they give you this message when the reality is they just want you to buy things. Just to let you know a little bit about what John Lewis is doing at Christmas, which, okay, I'm sort of criticising them, but not really. That's just how business works. But, you know, it's a good thing. Um, so the advert forms part of the launch of a Building Happier Futures programme, which is a commitment by the retailer to help young people with experience of the care system, including to find meaningful careers. So fantastic, they seem to be they're launching this programme. A lot of care leavers potentially struggle with what to do after leaving care. And so this is fantastic that there's something they're putting something in place here. Uh, John Lewis said it will directly support children in care and young people leaving care through the tough Christmas period with donations of oh, with <laughs> donations of decorations, food and gifts. They'll be invited into stores to enjoy Santa Grotto experiences while communal spaces of selected residential facilities run by Action for Children will be decked out with electronics, furnishings and decorations from the retailers. There's also a Lewis Bear, a new Lewis Bear. 25% um, of the sales will go to Action for Children and Who Cares Scotland. So 25% of the profits or... I'm not sure what that actually means, but I think every penny of the profits should go, and maybe it is, maybe that's not worded quite well, but every penny of the profits should go to Action for Children and Who Cares Scotland, in my opinion. The thing that they said about donations of decorations, foods and gifts, whilst I'm not putting that down necessarily, it's in theory a positive good thing to send donations of gifts and food and decorations and things. I've talked to adults who are, who are care leavers, I've talked to young people, I know quite a lot of people who have had this type of thing and it just leaves them feeling pretty crappy that they don't, it doesn't make up, it's almost like, and I don't know what the answer to this is, but they don't want they don't, they don't want donations of gifts, they, they really don't. I've not spoken to anyone who they know, like even young children, 
know that these things are like donations and they don't want these donations. It feels just like, oh, you know, they're the foster kid who gets donated things, wonderful. They don't want that, is, is my experience. You know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe you've had a different experience with children or young people, but that's been my experience of the people that I've interacted with, that they, they kind of hate it. I know that some of the children that I've looked after have been given sort of donations from various different charities at around Christmas time and things, and it just highlights, like they didn't, it's a, it's a difficult one for me, I guess, because children in my care will get, you know, at Christmas time, they'll be given the present, the usual presents that I would buy, they'll get a bit spoiled at Christmas, let's just say, and they don't need any of these donations. Like we get an allocation from, um, from who, who you're fostered with for, to buy Christmas presents. Okay, it's not a lot, but um, you generally spend a little bit more than that and you, you can you can get some deals and things. And so children get stuff. And so it doesn't really make sense to me to, it, it didn't make sense to me at the time where I mean, we would get them through school. Like the charities would give them to the school where they had foster children and then they would give them to me and then I would like bring them home. And because they're just, they're not even things that, that particular kid wants it's just a generic gift and it it kind of i didn't really see the point in it to be honest again like i just i've not got answers really i've got more questions about what i think i, I haven't looked at it and thought wow that's amazing like lots of people have done i guess but i'd love to hear your opinions let me know particularly if you are a care leaver uh, i think it's such a such a sensitive sensitive topic to talk about especially around Christmas time it affects so many people and I'm not sure that it's right to be honest but I don't know let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye bye